Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 18th, 2020. So yesterday we saw just a little bit of choppy sideways price action as the market just kind of took a rest. The bulls and bears were kind of battling back and forth as we were grappling with these rising coronavirus numbers and trying to determine what that actually means for this market. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, today we have just a slight little bit of bearishness in the futures, but let's take a, let's settle in, let's grab ourselves something to drink, um, cozy up in your office chair, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have kind of interesting patterns here, a little bit of uncertainty um, in the market, and it shows in several different areas. Let's take a look at what we've got going on. First off, as you remember um, yesterday, I marked out that we are still holding the longer term upside trend here in the Dow. We, are, we have broken the short term upside trend in the Dow, and we are working and being just slightly challenged by price resistance in in the chart, uh, uh, in the price action above here in the Dow. But having said that, we have just the hint here now of a possible lower high in the market. Now, one thing that didn't happen yesterday in the Dow is we didn't confirm this lower high because this little bearishness didn't break the low of that um, that tail right there. So a, a little bit of back and forth here um, in the market. So we, we are holding this upside move. And what we have basically is we're forming a little bit of a um, triangle wedge formation here in the chart. Could go either direction very, very easily. If we take a look at our moving averages here in the chart, notice that yesterday we drifted below that 200 day moving average, creating that uh, impression that we might fail that 200 day moving average. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely uh, today if those sellers really begin to pick up. However, if those buyers step in here and push right back above that 200 day, probably won't be too much of a problem here technically in the chart. Now I'm going to jump to IWM here and IWM gives us a bit more of a bearish picture um, in IWM. And you can see that we have in this chart, we have that possibility of a head and shoulders pattern forming with the head having failed right here at a 500 day moving average and yesterday's shoulder failing at the 200 day moving average. Kind of an interesting pattern to show up here and gives just a slight, slightly bit more bearish picture to um, this index and maybe suggesting a little bit more downside could be possible here in the chart. So just keep an eye on that. Um, I don't want to give the impression that we're bearish because overall longer term trend here in IWM is still up. We're still above the 50 day moving average, but there's lo those little hints out there that we may be getting just a little bit tired here in the rally. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY does not have that same appearance. The SPY held up above its 200 day moving average and as you can see held above the tail of yesterday's uh, bounce and so we've got a much better picture here overall in the spy a um, bit more confidence going on and depending on how you draw the the upside trend here you can see we've got a longer term trend here that we're still holding very good, a shorter term trend that we have broken. But we are still being challenged by this price resistance in the chart, trying to figure out whether or not we have enough energy to push on through. Um, and then last but not least, if we take a look at the cues, the cues showing no sign of pulling back. The big tech giants continue to push higher. As a matter of fact, they provided the majority of the lift yesterday where the bulls were continuing to push around in those big techs. 
providing the majority of that um, levity in the overall market. One of the things we want to pay attention to is that little hint, that little possibility. We popped up here, pulled back, and now we're pushing back up and we're struggling right against this resistance. That possibility that could occur of a little double top high if those sellers come in. But right now, the bulls are so strong and central bank you know, uh, just continues, central banks just continue to pump money in. The Bank of England added another hundred billion to bond buying this morning. So as those central banks continue to just drive funds into the economies, um, it, it, it becomes very, very difficult to see anything as a short um, right now. We, we don't want to fight these central banks as they continue to uh, just pound liquidity into the market. Let's take a look at um, some other things here that might be interesting to you. If we take a look at the VIX, the VIX is continuing to show a little bit of concern here. Even though we are in this rally, the VIX holding above a 33 handle at the close, I think was kind of interesting that um, just hanging in there, fear seems to just be holding on here just a bit and if we continue to hold in this area that actually puts us in a situation where we've broken the downtrend holding it as support and if that fear starts to creep up we could see a rally point in here in the vix so that would be a little bit of a concern for the market if we see that fear creeping up whether or not that occurs i don't know but we want to keep an eye on that and be very aware of it. If we take a look at T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio, if we take a look at that, we had just a modest pullback yesterday. So we are getting that little bit of pullback from this bearish reversal zone. And um, we actually saw, um, if we take a look at T2101, we saw the absolute breadth of the market starting to decline just slightly yesterday. And that was really an evidence of just the big internet giants kind of providing the lift in the market and everything else doing more of a sideways chop to a pullback. Um, overall yesterday so kind of an interesting situation but that breadth is pulling back a little bit and t2122 still indicating that we're a touch elevated and a little bit of pullback uh, could still um, occur here in the market so let's watch that closely let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and see what that has for us in store and if we take a look we can see doggone it i keep picking up that window um as you can see we have just a little bit on the calendar here today that could move us around but i gotta be honest guys um the market has pretty much affirmed that we don't care about unemployment anymore um it doesn't matter what the unemployment numbers are we have used that as a means to rally this market and so we've got jobless claims this morning we're expecting um, um just uh, the consensus if i bring up that consensus we're expecting um 1.2 million folks um filing for unemployment that is better than um, the last number. So if it comes in like that, we could use that 1.2 million um, in um, new folks signing up as a good sign because it's less than last week's. And um, it, right now it just seems like it doesn't matter what the unemployment number is, the market rallies, we do not care about it. Um, we also have the Philly Fed business outlook that can move us around a little bit. Um, it is also expecting an improvement over last week, but still coming in at a negative number. But in this environment, a negative number just has kind of meant we rally more. Um, so let's watch that closely this morning. Um, we've got natural gas report. I doubt that, that moves the market around at all. And we want to make note that we do have Fed speakers throughout the day that will be out here. 
talking away um, seems to be the the theme right now and tomorrow we have a virtual parade of fed speakers with jerome powell also speaking tomorrow so we'll want to make note of that on the earnings front today we have very little on the earnings um, we're really winding down the second quarter earnings only about 11 companies reporting earnings today and looking through them it was really not much of anything for notability um, in these, but SWBI, um, Smith & Wesson, maybe about the most notable that we'll go, we're going to see this morning. And right now it looks like um, Smith & Wesson is trying to gap just a little bit higher this morning. Um, so keep an eye on that, but that's about the only thing on the earnings front that I could really come up with that was very meaningful. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that thumbs up button so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel the video was worthy, if you feel like you got some good information out of it, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment that helps grow the channel. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone on that. Hey guys, um, here in the very near future, I'm going to put something out kind of exciting, um, a video uh, about um, a, a piece of software that I think is just incredible. Um, watch for that and um, um, there's a, a limited time uh, a limited time deal on this software that you may want to take advantage of so watch for that video here in the very near future let's take a look at some of these stocks that may be setting up and a couple of places that you might want to keep an eye on if the market is going to sell off we might want to look to a little bit of safety gld GLD held up just slightly yesterday. We're challenged by some resistance in this chart. Now, full disclosure, um, I have a position in GLD and actually I've taken a long-term position in GLD with all of the money printing and things that's, that are going on. I just have the idea that um, we're going to see a, uh, a decline in the US dollar and gold could rise on that. So I'm watching that pretty closely. I'm already in that trade, so you might wanna keep that one in mind. I um, Also, you might wanna take a look at silver and all Although silver is struggling just a little bit, um, we are still maintaining in an overall uptrend here in silver trying to move higher. We do have this little bit of a downtrend also to make note of here in the chart. Now keep in mind everyone that every time I post or show a chart in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Anytime you make a decision to uh, put together a trade, make sure you're doing your own due diligence and and contemplating the risk of your account. Make sure that you are following your rules and your guidelines for your trading. Um, and um, realize that everything that I show in these videos is nothing more than something you might want to keep an eye on, put on a watch list, or evaluate. So with that in mind, let's take a look at a few more stocks that I'm showing a little bit of interest here. Um, McDonald's. McDonald's has been rallying in this market, and as you can see, held that longer term trend. And right now what we're trying to do is we're trying to hold on to this price support. And even though we failed this high up here, um, dropped back down below this support, we are really trying to hold up in McDonald's. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five days of a relatively tight consolidating range and holding into that trend. So we wanna watch for that next opportunity that that could 
break on higher. Keep an eye on that. We also want to watch this for that possibility that this could fail the trend. So watch in here. And if it does fail the trend, we've got a little bit of a head and shoulders type pattern in here to make note of. But I think right now the market is so bullish, I would be probably, and we're holding in that trend, I would probably be favoring the upside move. It may require a couple more days several well it could be several more days of consolidation in here before it finds that energy to move higher but a place to look you might want to keep an eye on mcdonald's um take a look at clx clorox clorox with the rising coronavirus infections um, around the country we're getting a reemergence here of Clorox. Clorox breaking through resistance, moving higher here, holding up in a trend. Now, I wouldn't want to suggest that this is a good place to just jump in and buy this um, because it is a little bit far away from any kind of a logical stop loss. But keeping an eye on this, if this were to consolidate over in the trend or something like that, there may be another opportunity to pick that up. Keep an eye on Clorox. Also seeing stock Stocks like Colgate Palmolive, some of those defensive sector stocks, kind of picking up in here and holding pretty well. And as you can see, uh, Clorox trying, or Colgate Palmolive trying to rally here in the market. And um, we have some resistance levels up here to be concerned about, but holding up in a pretty nice pattern might be worthy of a watch in here. Take a look at um, WW. Now, Weight Watchers, had a really big gap up just the other day and as you can see we're popping up through and holding above this support area so as we pull back into this support area it might be a good idea to just keep an eye on this to see if that can hold in there and maybe j hook itself right on up or find that consolidating area and push back higher um, weight watchers has some interest in here, something we might want to keep an eye on. Take a look at Boot. Now, Boot might be a, one of those charts that are that is deciding to go the other direction here. So Boot is um, a head and shoulders type pattern forming here in the chart. And I would watch this level of price support right in here. If Boot were to fail, down through there, we could see a little bit of a selling wave coming into that boot barn. Keep an eye on that as a possible um, short. Take a look at the pay system stocks. Um, I mentioned these yesterday. Um, actually, I've been mentioning these pretty much every day, but uh, PayPal um, moving on up, showing lots of strength. Um, retail sales, you know, we saw that big jump in retail sales, so it kind of makes sense that pay systems are doing pretty well. PayPal moving on up showing a nice pattern and as you can see blue sky above no resistance here for this to be uh fighting so opportunities um, exist here in paypal you might also take a look at sq sq uh, breaking through those resistance levels um, i've been talking about this the last few days popping out of that little consolidation move a nice bullish engulfing candle here on that uh, potential entry and popping on higher might not want to chase this here a little rest or consolidation in here maybe do and then look for that next opportunity to the upside one thing you will want to pay attention to is we do have some resistance in this chart to deal with right up here and if we can pop through there then we've got some all-time highs in sq so something to keep an eye on um take a look at nvidia nvidia continues to grind sideways here in this pattern and still holding up its overall trend so as we continue to deal with this and kind of grind sideways maybe complete this consolidation over toward that trend we want to look for that opportunity for that stock 
to pop on through there and move on higher. Keep a close eye on that, looking pretty good. Another chart that is interesting here is BABA. BABA has been struggling against um, a price resistance here in the chart. You can see we've been bouncing around in here, trying to struggle against that, trying to break through. Well, watch for that opportunity. If if BABA can pop on through here, there may be an, an upside opportunity here. Now, it, it could also be breakthrough and wait for it to pull back and hold or prove that support before we go up. But keep an eye on Bob. It's been holding up pretty well and showing some tenacity in here. It just does not want to go down at all. Um, so keep keep that one in mind. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. Please be safe um, with the rising coronavirus out there. Just, you know, make sure that you're keeping yourself, your family safe. Who knows where this will take us. Hopefully we'll see those numbers start to pull back here soon and things will start to even out here on the coronavirus. But there is that concern that it is spiking back up in several areas of the country and um, worries that that spread could begin again so let's hope that doesn't occur so keep yourself safe keep your family safe and we'll see you all right back here bright and early friday morning have a great day everyone